What's up guys, it's Zed and welcome to the first episode of the FIFA 22 player career mode. Now this right here is Konrad Zan, the new 17 year old striker that is just coming out of the youth academy and is just entering to the first team of Borussia Dortmund. Now you see Dortmund is a pretty big team so it's going to be a really really tough task for us to get into the starting 11 of a very very huge team like Dortmund. We are going to try and do it, I mean we might get subbed off or uh, we might get loaned off to a different team but we're going to try and be the best player in the world we're going to dream we're going to be the goats we're not going to have any competition we're just going to be the best so let's see how long it's going to take for us to do that right here we have the skill point i believe so we're supposed to uh try and increase the rating of our players and really what i want to do right off the bat is just get a lot of these uh pace because i know for a fact that i'm going to get other skill points but before i do that i want to max out the pace to the highest that i possibly can i think the highest is going to get to 90 something sprint speed that's like 92 or, or thereabouts but i'm not sure if player grows on it on his own because i know there's training so i'm not quite sure how it's going to work but i hope he's obviously going to get way over 92 because i want to be like a speed demon in this thing then after pace i'm probably going to go with something like uh dribbling then passing or, or shooting then dribbling then passing i'm not going to do everything at once like i'm doing with pace i'm going to gradually pick the one i think is going to be best for me to use so with all that being done next up is the perk there is this one defensive cover boost defensive abilities for all teammates defensive awareness interceptions and tackling and then there's boost passing attributes for a short time 15 minutes after assisting a goal and grants the player the swerve pass straight i think this one's also about defense so i think this one is best for a striker so we're the latest player in borussia dortmund now so let's see what we can do while we come on as a sub for this match. I think we're going to come on as a sub. Okay, just the 78th minute. We're coming in for Marcos Rice. Marcos Royce, rather. And we're going in as a CAM. That's quite... That's quite weird if you ask me. So I'm just going to uh, talk to you guys after this match is done. Hopefully we can do something really good in the match. So... Well, substitution time, and this is his professional debut, Stuart. Well, what a moment this is. He'll be nervous, but he'll also be excited. He just needs to get out there and get a good couple of early touches. Let's hope he does well. Struggling to get it away. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area. And they... Poland. Guerrero. Oh, it might be. Oh, good save to keep it all square. Well, that's a vital stop. What a good save. The cross is on. And it's with Isaac. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the referee blows for full time. All right, so we were able to draw that match. We got, I think we got all of the objectives that the boss wanted us to. I'm not quite sure, but let's check it out though. All right, so we're able to get the match rating of seven. We got one assist. Completed six passes. Well, we played only 30 minutes. I really wanted to get a goal, but I just couldn't. I just wasn't able to, I really like that we're able to get the assist right off the bat because that was pretty much the hardest thing to do. And the way the assist even came though, like the cross all the way to Haaland, that was, that was something. Alright, I have no idea who that manager is, I can't remember his name. But we did get all three achievements and we have gone high up on the manager ratings and we are so close to getting into the starting level and this is just our first match how is our second match and our third match and our fourth match and our fifth match going to go and are we 
going to be off to a flying start for this player career mode. These cutscenes are one of the really, 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 really nice ones that I actually really like. The uh, the one in the locker room where we're like reminiscing on what happened during the match. If you win, I think they're going to be celebrating, and then if you lose, if we lose, I think it's going to be worse than this because I mean they drew. But I'm not quite sure though. Alright, so we're just going to do a couple training drills here. I think these are the only two I'm going to do for now. And then I'm going to uh, keep simming them so that I can get the experience. Because I think it's experience you get, not... Uh, I don't think it's... Uh, what do they call it? I don't think it's overall that you gain when you do this. I think it's more of... Whoops. I think it's more of experience that you gain when you go on and do this. So, uh, yeah. I'm just going to do it and then try and get the A's in all three of them and then I will start simming them all. Well, as you can see, we were able to get an A, an A and a B. We also got three, three um, skill points because I think we just leveled up to two. I'm not sure, but I think that's what just happened. So uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do here. I think we got a new perk. That is this one. The distance shooter increases your accuracy and power from long distance shots. Grants you the finesse shot and outside foot shot traits and five star weak foot ability. I think I'm going to do that because, uh, I mean, who doesn't want who who doesn't want a distance shooter traits? Come on, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure the the distance shot right now is really trash. So uh, that's what I'm going for. So 43 new skill points I got. Oh wow, I need 5 to be able to get this. So I think I'm just going to go on and work on the shooting. This is finishing. Then long shots. So I need long shots. What's here? Penalties. Free kick accuracy. I mean, I don't really think I need free kick accuracy that much. Shot power. Okay. Yeah, that's all. So I, I got this one. The penalties and the shot power. And immediately we're thrown into the 79th minute. We're subbing Royce again. We're playing as a CM. I have no idea why we are why we are playing in that position. We are a striker for God's sake. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Nico Schulz. Zan. Well, this game almost in the books, and a story of Dortmund excelling, Stuart. Yeah, right this now, has been. But a bit if rumours are to be believed, Spurs may be about to get the man. Oh, Derek, great opportunity here. Oh, there it is! A lifeline in this game, and what a finale we could be in for here! Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, but I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. This could be it, and it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Absolutely spot on with that challenge. And he read it well. Oh, showing excellent vision. Surely. And in it goes. He's opened his account as a professional. Well, what a great moment for him. Just look how pleased he is with that. Well, we can take another look now. It's great interplay between the two of them to start the move off. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. And played the pass well. Said Benrama. And that will do it. Alright, that's the end of the game. And there, uh, that is good news. In all two games we have played, we have been involved in all the goals that have been scored. 
this is legendary and like it's really really easy for us to just get in there i think it has to do with the pace of the player because when you have pace a lot of things just come easier although that you, although you, you, you easily lose the ball as well but we don't we have control over the ball we're able to get a match rating of 7.2 one assist one goal and we really played for 12 minutes that's actually pretty good imagine we now play for like the whole 90 minutes of a match what are we going to be able to do in that match now this is what the winning cutscenes look like wait what I'm supposed to get how many shots on target? I only just did the the uh, 7.01 because I thought the other one was scoring a goal. I had no idea it was like a particular amount of shots on target. Well, I mean we, I mean we're still doing really good. I think. I mean we definitely are still doing really good. So I don't know. Let's see what happens. Next match is against Spurs. So we're just going to do the training drill right here. I'm just going to sim all the ones I did previously. And we got a B in the, in the other one. So, I mean, I don't really mind. But I think I might just replay it eventually. Alright, so we have three new skill points. But I'm not going to use these. Because I want to really get this, uh, what's it called? Cheetah Archetype which is five skill points. So I'm just going to save them up and when we get the remaining two, I'm going to use them. So it's the match against Spurs and we are playing CAM for the third time. I have no idea why they won't just put us, why aren't they subbing Marlin or Haaland off? I mean, why? Maybe it has something to do with the fact that they're playing um, RS and LS and my, and my, um, Position is ST. I'm not quite sure, but I mean, there has to be something wrong with these guys if they are going to be uh, putting me on in the camp position all through the preseason. Now, Spurs is winning us 3 1, so we have to score two goals in just 12 minutes. That is, that is quite crazy if you ask me. I'm not sure that we are going to be able to do that because I mean, th this is quite tough. So, I'm just going to focus on getting the objectives and let's see if we can get a if we can get on the manager's good side. So we're supposed to get a match match rating of 7.0, get a pass success rate of 55, and they get a cross success rate of at least 30. I think that's going to be the toughest one, the one about crosses. So uh yeah. Untidy in possession. Holland. Now oh, that's a super ball over the top. You'll be hard pressed to find a better save than that. Loris. Problems at all for the keeper. Guerrero. Well, they know they need to stop him. And no nonsense defensive clearance. And that... To be honest, I have no idea why Haaland didn't just shoot that. Is that even Haaland or is that Julian Brandt? I'm not quite sure who that was. But I mean, it was right in front of him. The ball was right in front of him. And like, he just couldn't do anything about it. We were able to get the 7.0. Um, match rating because of that guy i think it was julian brown definitely was in holland i mean it definitely definitely was in holland so this was the worst match we've had we lost the match we came into the match losing anyways and uh, it was a really tough match really so my manager rating did drop again and uh, we only got one of the the uh objectives again i have no idea why i keep on forgetting what these things are called anyhow uh so this is what the losing cutscenes look like so we've seen we've drawn one we've lost one and we have won one so are we going to be able to get into the semi-finals with what we have or are we out of the preseason i think we are because next up is the super cup against bayern that is huge i i doubt we're going to be able to play in that match so we just got to level four after this uh drill so we got four 
point so i think we have seven now and that should be enough to get all of our pace okay so we can now get the cheetah archetype and we have just two left to work on after that i think i'm just go going to go for dribbling right now i'm going to go for this and i'm going to go for agility we weren't able to get the preseason trophy but this is the first competitive match or the first match of the season rather than the preseason matches and are we going to be able to get the win against Bayern? i have no idea if i'm going to be playing in the match or not but we are literally a speed demon now and i hope we're able to get the experience of facing Bayern for the first time we're also really close to, to level six it's actually pretty easy to level up i think i'm not sure how it's going to be later on i think I think it's going to be, I think you're going to need more XP the higher level you go. I mean, that's just normal. So that is exactly what it should be. We are 72 rated overall and we are coming into the match. 18 minutes. We are finally playing as a striker. Finally. I have no idea what took them so long, but I mean, we're in. So let's see what we can do. If you do like this video, make sure to hit the like button and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys after this match is over. And Dortmund, would you believe it, are making a triple substitution. So our match ratings are 7 point, sorry, our match objectives are 7.0. We need to get one assist and we should have a dribble success rate. I think two of them should be pretty, I mean, all of them should be pretty easy enough. But, I mean, I have to work hard to get them. Marco Royce with a corner. Just too much lost. There's a slide draw pass, and the keeper stretching to deny him. Ball lost by Bayern. Inside the final five minutes now. And Dortmund committed to getting forward. And a goal! position useful looking ball well disappointing end to the move really getting stuck in and full time you do win the match I don't know what I don't know if I should be happy or be angry at the shit service that Dortmund is really giving me in this match to be honest but we're able to get that one good pass and we scored i have no idea who, who it was that gave us the pass maybe it was hummels or something but this is our first trophy that we are lifting with dortmund we we're able to beat by and we're the one that got the goal and that is truly truly something where am i okay i'm just stepping up this is i have no idea what trophy this is but oh this is the super cup is this super cup for the german league or is it well this is definitely not the super cup for you champions league so we are we have lifted the trophy we are a trophy winner already at 17. this is our first ever competitive match and we have won a trophy in it and we are the one that got the goal that is something to write home about yeah that's what i thought i thought there was going to be a cutting with the trophy in there it's right there in the center of the room Haaland is dancing everyone is happy <laughs> anyways we're able to get just two out of the three objectives that are laid out for us by the manager and uh, it was a good match we got the goal now imagine Dortmund having two super 
what do they call them? Imagine Dortmund having two wonder kids. That is me. Three, in fact, me, Bellingham, and Haaland. That is something. So, are we going to be able to go far in Dortmund or are we going to be able to get transferred off? I have no idea, but I, I, I'm, I'm, re I'm really curious to see what the future of this guy is going to be. Conrad Zahn is his name. So we're able to get five new skill points. I think I'm going to ha this is dribbling. Get our dribbling up to 69 and then 76. Then this is for balance and attacking position. We have three points left. What are we going to use it for? Let's go to shooting right here. Then uh volleys. No question. This one is for headers. Long shots. Let's start with long shots. Then I think we have two left. So what are we going to need? This one is for short power and long shots. Now I'm going to play this match and that will be it for the episode. Now remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe again. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. You do not want to miss what is going on. We have the player career and we have the new create a club career mode. Okay, we are subbing off Haaland and we are playing striker again for the second time. Are we going to be able to get a goal? We have, uh, I think that is three goals, or that two goals in five games. Two goals in four games, I think. Are we going to, this is our first match in the, I forgot the name of the stadium. Oh my God. In, in, in the Signal at Duna Park. And are we going to impress the fans or not? I mean, we can only play to find out. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. So we're coming on for Haaland. We're supposed to get a match rating of 7.5, get at least one goal or assist, and then have a successful dribble rate of 35%. I think this is what I'm going to enhance. So let's see how we do in this match what's the score exactly I believe it's coming just listen to the noise what a fantastic all right still zero zero so i'll talk to you guys after the match nico schultz and only two minutes remaining here All right, so that's it. We did win the match. We scored the only goal again. And I think we are able to get all three of the managers' ratings. This is exactly what I want from this guy. This is Conrad Zahn, guys. He's the one that won the match. I'm not sure if we're the man of the match, but I mean, we'll see that in a bit. But let's just look at how we did in this match. We we're able to get. Oh, shit. Match rating was 6.9. It was 7 when we ended. What happened? We played for just 10 minutes, scored one goal, conversion rate of 100%. And, well, that's pretty good. So, I guess we're able to get all three of the objectives, which is quite sad. Because I could have sworn, I could have sworn that we were on. Oh, it says here that we got 7. So, why are they saying 6.9? That was actually quite confusing. Let's see, let's see if we're able to get all three of the of the objectives and no we weren't we actually did get 6.9 and uh, the man of the match award just skipped us to be honest so thank you guys for watching I'm Zed and if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit the like button also subscribe to the channel if you are new also drop comments on what you want to see in the future episodes of this series and once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.